know going to the lamps or chair. So we will talk about Mars food or chair. Um, the content. The content that we prepare first Maori food history, second traditional Maori food honey, third Maori food vegetables. <coughs> first, I will talk about Maori food history. When Maori first arrived in New Zealand, they hardly had any food known to them to survive except for the common food, common food of New Zealand. The Maori people had to make a drastic change to their lifestyle if they were to survive and succeed in building a new lifestyle. There was no immediate danger of starvation because Kaimana, which is seafood, fish, shellfish, crayfish, and crabs were in, in abundance along the coastal waters. Gradually, generations of Maori people discovered plenty of edible plants and berries of different kinds in the vast forests of New Zealand. The most important of them was edible plant roots. Huge adjustments were made to an almost thoroughly new type of food which they had never seen before because the island was entirely within the temperate zone. None of the Maori traditional crops grew here. Only the Kumara, which is sweet potato, was imported from Polynesia, although it required a lot of labor and was difficult to store. I will show you a short video. Observing the movement of spirits of fish, 
making and making and maintaining gear, and fishing and processing the catch. As you can see from this picture, Kayamana um, was a very important trading island when Europeans arrived.
It's now also the highlight of an evening's entertainment, international tourists in New Zealand. It's become a tourist attraction. However, many hotel companies may not be totally authentic.